Greetings from Tennessee. I pray that you are soaring into the amazing future that the Lord has for you as who he created you to be and doing what he created you to do. Now today I want to bring a scripture that the Lord gave me last week and then I want to make an invitation or two for you to join me in a couple of different things. Now last week on April 4th, the Lord underscored that number four. And it's, or one of its prophetic meanings is the four directions on the compass. And he took me to this scripture that I want to share with you. This is Psalm 107, verses one to three. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the adversary and gathered from the land, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Those four directions on the compass. He gathers his children together. Now, I've always said that my story is a story of redemption. And what I mean by that is not a salvation type of redemption. Certainly, we all have a story of redemption in that way. But my story is a story of redeeming my identity. It is why I am so passionate about who God created you to be and what he created you to do. Because it's part of my own story and my relationship with the Lord. And in the last two years, he has directed me to use the internet to gather people from the east and the west and the north and the south to sit together as the redeemed people of God and to learn to sit at his feet and to listen to what he has to say. So I invite you to join me next week. It's the third Monday and the third Thursday of the month of April. And that is my normal schedule, the third Monday and the third Thursday. Now, Monday night is the evening session. It is from 6 to 7.30 Central Time, USA, because we do have some international people joining us as well. And Thursday is Thursday morning, where if the daytime schedule works better for you, then I invite you to join us then. Thursday morning is 9.30 to 11 Central Time, USA time. This is not a both and situation. It's a one or the other, either Monday night or Thursday morning. Now, certainly you can attend both, but the, the teaching is contained within one session. And the second invitation that I would like to extend to you is to join me in person in Venice, Florida, May 13th and 14th for Soaring with God to New Destinations. There's an optional opportunity to paint with Holy Spirit in the park near the beach on Friday afternoon from 2 to 4. But we gather on Friday evening at 6 o'clock to Begin to soar with God to new destinations. It'll be a casual meet and greet on Friday night. But then Saturday we'll dig in to what the Lord has to say about soaring with him and what hinders our soaring with him and then how we can more easily and even more powerfully take flight with him. So I hope you'll join me in Venice, Florida, May 13th and 14th. And I hope you'll join me next week as we soar into so much more. Now, if you're interested in the online teaching next week, April 18th and April 21st, email me at deborah at deborahgall.com and I will make sure you're on the list and I'll make sure you have the Zoom link and the downloadable handout that goes with the teaching. I'll be teaching about wisdom this month. What it is, what it's not, why is it important, and then how do we grow in wisdom?
If you'd like to join me in Venice, I invite you to go to my website, www.debraball.com, where you can get more information and follow the link to register. I hope to see you both next week online and in person in Florida in May.